Des véhicules électriques, il en existe bel et bien au Burkina grâce aux promoteurs des énergies renouvelables. So now there's an interesting story of success from the OT sector there. Specifically, the release of a new electric vehicle produced by local manufacturer. It's being hailed as an interesting move for a country that's been more synonymous with subsistence agriculture. Conflict and political unrest, especially something happened in Burkina Faso that almost no one saw coming. The Sahel nation officially began producing its own solar-powered electric cars. Yes, electric cars. Assembled on Burkina Bay soil by Burkina Bay technicians inside a brand new factory in Waga 2000. The project launched under President Ibrahim Traoré introduced a new automotive brand called ATA, marking the first time in the country's history that modern vehicles were built locally instead of being imported secondhand. For a nation long dependent on costly fuel, aging foreign cars, and fragile transportation lines, this wasn't just a technological upgrade, it was a turning point. Burkina Faso just rolled out brand new, solar-powered electric cars built by black hands, on black soil, for black people. Not prototypes. Not concepts. Real cars. Quiet, clean, affordable, and already taking over the streets of Ouagadougou like a silent revolution.